Welcome to my review of the 20 volt max black and decker lithium drill and driver. guys so this is the lithium black and decker 20 volt cordless driver and drill you can see it looks very similar to some of the other drills that are 7.2 volts but i can assure you this is very much more powerful so it has a keyless truck as you should expect three eighths of an inch so you're gonna have to use reduced drill bits for anything larger than that um You've got your vents back here for cooling the motor. All right, Black & Decker logo, warnings. You've got an 11 position chuck. So you've got torque adjustments, 10 for screw driving, so you don't strip any screws. Then you've got one for drilling, which is maximum torque. All right, and then You've got your selector here. In the middle is safety. You cannot uh, pull the trigger or, well, I guess activate the drill. Move it to the right. It turns clockwise. Let me demonstrate with the battery. And then all the way in is counterclockwise. It is a little i mean in a sense it's variable speed but there is no precise control it is adjusted by how far the trigger is pulled down you can only pull the trigger a little bit to only activate the light pull it farther to start the drill and then all the way for maximum power this is an extremely comfortable rubber rised grip could not have really asked for more there You've got a screwdriver holder, I mean a bit holder back here. It did not come with a screwdriver bit, by the way. And I bought mine without the battery, alright? So I do not have the original packaging. But it does come in a pretty nice cardboard box, I'm pretty sure. Take the battery off of there. Some specs, alright? This thing has up to 650 RPM. And it also has up to 115 inch-pounds of torque. Pounds per inch, not inch-pounds. You know what I mean. So yeah, overall it's a very nice drill. The keyless truck so far has stayed in place quite well for me. No drill bits slipping, unless I don't tighten them enough. So it does take a, cons a considerable amount of effort. Considerable amount of effort. Can't talk today. To tighten it enough so that drill bits won't slip, but that's, you know, that's just the nature of this type of drill. So using a hexagonal or just, you know, non-round smooth bits will help. Moving on to the battery, as I said, it did not come with this. Normally when you buy it for around 50 bucks, it will. I bought this for around 25 bucks, so it did not come with a battery. This battery is off of another Black & Decker tool. It's like the Weed Whacker, so I already had one, so I didn't need to buy one. These are what they're calling the 20 volt max lithium batteries. So far, battery life, very nice. I don't have a precise charging time for you guys. You guys can Google that. But it does take quite long if you completely run out of juice to charge it. It has four connection points here, although what I found weird 
the drill itself actually only uses three of those points. The connector, you simply line it up. There's like rails, and then you just slide it on. And there's a spring inside of here. So when you click the button, it sort of rejects it. So you have to use a little bit of force to snap it in there. And then when you want to release, there's a red button. Yeah. So pretty simple. This is, I believe, 1.5... Uh, yeah, I think it's 1.5 amp hours there. And then here you've got the charger. Once again, it did not come with this, but if you buy it for the full price, it will. All right, this is just a standard charger. And then you've got here your symbols. The light here, if it's solid green, it's fully charged. Flashing green, then it's charging. Uh, this red, the flashing red is the battery, there's a problem, you should unplug it, like, now. And then the sort of intermittent, sort of slower flashing red is going to be your overheating. Alright, and this has your standard wall plug here. So, I mean, that's about it. Let's get to what you guys are all excited for, which is the actual testing. Alright guys, so we will be testing drilling capabilities on this 1.5 by 3.5 inch piece of wood. So it's not quite a 2x4, but it's getting close. Here I've got a collection of drill bits. You've got your standard Black & Decker ones. I've got some D-Walt D -Walt, um, wood drill bits. And then I've got the drill. So let's see how it can do. First, we're going to start off small, make it easy. First off, starting off small with a 3 30 seconds drill bit. So you can see, no trouble at all with the torque, so that's not surprising, it's a pretty small drill bit. Let's step it up to a bigger drill bit. By the way, if the drilling seems a little bit slow, that's because it sort of is. Um, I've noticed that at 650 RPMs, it can be a little bit sluggish sometimes, but I mean that's really good enough for my household needs. So from real, you know, um, a $50 drill, if it includes the battery, what can you expect? Now stepping it up to 530 seconds, once again this is one of your standard drill bits, multi-purpose ones. Very nice. That was almost a bit faster than the uh, 330 seconds. I wonder why that is. But, so absolutely no trouble at all with your 530 seconds. Perfect. 730 seconds. Stepping it up a little bit. Still your standard multi-purpose drill bit. Very nice. Now we're really stepping it up. We've got five sixteenths here. In other words, 10 30 seconds. Let's see how this does. Wow, no problem at all. So while the speed may be lacking a bit, the torque is very nice. Now here is where I'm anticipating a few problems. We're stepping it all the way up to 3 eighths. So let's see how this will do without a pilot hole. Slide the wood over a bit so we can get to some of our, our uh, not drilled wood. We're running out of room over there.
Alright, wow. So, I'm impressed. It definitely has enough torque to get through that. Um, the speed is once again a bit lacking. Now it starts to get slow. But it definitely can do it without any real issue. By the way, I just thought of this, forgot to mention, it is a brushed motor, but what can you expect from a drill this cheap? Anyways, now we've got half inch, alright? Got reduced, shank in here, 3 eighths. I anticipate here's where the real problems begin. This is the biggest drill bit I have, and I assume that it'll start sort of, you know, jamming up, because the torque may not be enough, because, well, you know, it's a half inch drill bit. Alright, so let's see how this goes. Wow, I am impressed. That got through it like it was nothing. I, like, it, it definitely has enough torque. I, I couldn't feel it, you know, pushing back at me too much. Once again, it is slow. Alright, but you're going to have to deal with that. Because the torque is very nice. Let's try it again. Once again, keep in mind that all of these holes are being drilled without a pilot hole. Alright, so I was pushing a bit harder that time, and as you can see, that actually wasn't too slow. Very impressed. Now let's move on to the wood drill bits. 516th Dewalt wood drill bit. I wonder if this will do better or worse. In my past experience with these drill bits, it seems like they are not any faster. In fact, they may actually be slower than standard drill bits. But they are they put less stress on the drill because they clear the wood chips more efficiently. So it seems like these are slow but precise. Do you know what I mean? So let's see how this does. Uh, this is what? 5 sixteenths. Had a little bit of slippage in the chuck there, but maybe that was me not tightening enough. Alright, so absolutely no problem with the 5 sixteenths. 3 eighths. So now it really starts to slow down, but once again, it it is definitely more precise than the other one. I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that. It just feels not as stressful on the drill and my wrist, but it is definitely slower than your standard drill bit. And I found that holding the drill with two hands definitely helps. So I may or may not have just knocked over my camera. But we're back. And final test, half inch drill bit. Let's see how it does. Alright, so as I was saying, this drill bit is once again very slow compared to the standard ones, but it definitely puts less stress on the drill. So let's head inside for our final conclusion. Alright guys, two small things I forgot to mention. One, it has an electronic brake, meaning the motor stops as soon as you release the trigger. It doesn't keep on going. Second of all, look at how bright that light is. It's really nice. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to the review. So overall, I really like this drill and driver. While there are definitely better, more powerful options out there that are 20 volts, pretty much nothing can beat this for $50. I mean, those are up around the 80, maybe even 100, over 100 dollars. 
This is $50 with the battery and charger. What more can you ask for? Alright, so that is my review of the Black & Decker 20 volt max lithium drill. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope this helped you. Feel free to ask me any more questions by link in the, by link in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.